everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. I'm going to start this video off with saying, if you don't have a typical phone, you're not going to have a good time because these are all iPhone 7 cases iPhone 7 Plus specifically. Now a lot of these are available in multiple different sizes like iPhone 6, 7, 8, 10, all that sort of thing. And some of them do also have Android sizing as well, but if you have a Motorola or, you know, an unconventional phone, I guess, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. Here's the thing. I used to have an Oppo. If you don't know what an Oppo is, it's basically like a Chinese equivalent of an iPhone. It runs in a similar way to an iPhone. It's a really, really nice phone. It's got an amazing camera, it's got a huge screen, and that's what I had for a very long time. And this is probably the most first world problem thing I'm ever going to say, but... I sold it because I wanted an iPhone purely for the phone cases. I know, I know. Press the dislike button now. I literally, I was like, that's it. I'm gonna get an iPhone. I'm so sick of not having a phone case, of having these terrible, ugly, boring phone cases available to me. No, I want something cute. I want something with an LED light in it or a mirror on it or with Hello Kitty on it or something. So I went on a little bit of a shopping spree. Now I shopped on AliExpress for phone cases and I was blown away. I also shopped on Wish and I also picked up a few from YesStyle. And if you've seen my other YesStyle videos, you may have seen those phone cases already, but I'll show you again today. Now just before I start, I do have one little parcel here from AliExpress that I haven't opened yet. It's a dress and I thought it would be a nice idea to put this on while I review the phone cases from AliExpress. Let's just open this up quickly. I know you're not here for clothes, you're here for phone cases, but let's just have a quick look at this because I have a good feeling about this. Oh my goodness. <sighs> look at this. This is the most intricate dress I have ever seen. It's like got a white fluffy collar on it like this and it's pink and it's got these lacy mesh sleeves that have little love hearts on them and it's got this soft fluffy part on the bottom. Oh, I'm gonna put this on, I will be back in a minute and then let's have a look at these phone cases. Oh my goodness, look at this! How cute is this? It's so Christmassy! I love it. This was kind of expensive, but totally worth it. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to look at the phone cases. So let's jump into the AliExpress phone cases first, and then I'll show you the Wish phone cases later. So the first one that I picked up, now this is a little bit discolored because I've used it so much since I bought it, but it's got a peach on it, and the peach is actually 3D. Now this also came in a strawberry design as well as a peach design. It's also got this little sort of sparkly glittery section at the bottom, which is super cute. In total, this was about $8, including shipping. It's available for the 6, 6S, 6 Plus, iPhone 7, and 7 Plus. It's really cute because it has these tiny little love hearts all over it. I don't know if you can see, they're just there. They're so sweet. I adore the beautiful big peach. I remember when I purchased it, I was a little bit concerned that the peach would fall off. I thought it might just be super glued on, but it's what are you doing? But it's actually part of the phone case. I, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's actually part of the plastic. It's not gonna fall off because it's actually made into the phone case. So this is one of my all time favorite phone cases. It's just too sweet. And I think Archie likes it as well. The next phone case is the one that Archie was holding in the intro. So this is a Mickey Mouse Swarovski crystal phone case. I don't believe that they're real Swarovski crystals. It came with the little dangly thing separate. So I had to stick that on myself. And I think the reason for that is it's supposed to be something to sort of steady your hand. And I think you're meant to be able to stick it anywhere that's comfortable for you. So I just put it kind of in the center like that. I haven't worn this out much just because it is quite big and bulky and inconvenient, but it does come with a lanyard. So I have worn it around my neck, but it's not really a pocket phone case with that giant thing hanging off it. But, oop. In total, this one was a little bit expensive. This one was $13, including shipping, which eh, it's a little bit much when you're considering that you're buying off AliExpress, but it is a very nice phone case. It's flexible like this. This one says it's available for the iPhone 5, 6, 7, and 8, 7 plus, 8 plus, and it's also got some Galaxy sizes there as well. This is probably the one that I've used the least out of all of the phone cases that I've bought. I just thought it was super cute when I saw the photos of it, but I just feel like it's the tiniest little bit impractical with the ears, but they are very, very sweet. This next one, there's a funny story to this. 
This is not a Pikachu phone case. If you saw my Wish video where I attempted to buy a Pikachu phone case off Wish and it never turned up, and then I just did the crappiest DIY project in the world and I just printed the Pikachu onto a piece of paper and just glued it onto the phone case. But I'll show you what the phone case actually looks like. I think it's time for Pikachu to come off. Okay, this one had free shipping. This was only about $5. I love the fact that it's rectangular. People always say to me when they see this, they're like, what sort of phone is that? Because they think that the phone itself is rectangular, but it's just the phone case. And what I really like about it, it's the ultimate selfie phone case because this will actually stand on its own. I'll show you. It actually stands up straight. Now this came in black and white. I went for the white one. It's very, very shiny. As you can see, it's very reflective. And I personally really like the way that it feels in the hand because it's quite big. It does make the phone a little bit bigger, like corner to corner. It does make it quite big, but I enjoy that because I feel like it's very, very comfortable to hold when it's like this. This is available for the iPhone X seven and eight, six, six S seven and eight plus. Oh, also I've got to show you on the side. It also has, it's not like slots for the buttons. It's actually a plastic cover for the buttons. So I really like that because it stops any grime getting in there and building up. These next phone cases, big pile of phone cases here. These all came from the same seller on AliExpress. This seller has so many phone cases available and every single one of these is amazing, amazing. Okay, where, where to start, where to start? Machi, what are you doing? Come here. You guys aren't going to believe this. The first phone case is the cutest and the most impractical thing I've ever used in my life. It's a giant Totoro. He's basically the size of my head. Uh, he's the size of my face. Actually, he's about the same size as Artie, to be honest. I'll show you what it looks like on my phone. So uh, that's what he looks like. May as well hold a dinner plate to my head. I have only ever taken this out in public once and people stared. They thought I was some sort of lunatic. That's how big it is. So it's available for the iPhone 4, 4S, 5S, 5E, 5C, 6, 6S, 7, 8, 7 Plus, 8 Plus, X, XR, XS. So uh, it's available for a lot of different sized iPhones. No mention of Android though, I'm sorry. It's too difficult to hold. It basically turns the phone into the size of an iPad. So what I actually do, I have this sitting on my Totoro shelf. I have a shelf dedicated to this character and it just kind of sits upright on that shelf. And for only $5, even if I'm not going to take this out and use it as a phone case, for something that cute, it's totally worth it. These are all $5, guys, keep that in mind. So the next one is this unicorn phone case. Now this is probably the seediest, creepiest looking unicorn I've ever seen. It looks like it's giving bedroom eyes. Archie's probably gonna give it bedroom eyes back. They also had a different unicorn design from this same listing, but it had a huge horn on its head. Kind of looked like a, an antenna. I can see here there's one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six unicorn designs that I can see right away in the very first picture on the listing and that's not even looking at the other pictures on the listing. Five dollars for a very very soft smooth unicorn and it's a pretty appropriate sized phone case. It doesn't actually take up too much room. It only sticks out a tiny little bit over the edges of the phone. This one, if it wasn't giving bedroom eyes, I think I would like it a lot more, but I have used it a fair few times and it didn't get that dirty either. So I do appreciate that. This next one is going to make people go insane. This is the character, a peach, and it's a milk carton. <sighs> this is impractically huge, but I have used this a lot. It's not quite as big as the Totoro case. It's big, but it fits in my handbag. Might not fit in my pocket, but it does fit in my handbag. I just love the fact that it's 3D. Well, not 3D, but you know, it, it's drawn as though it's 3D. This is one of my favorite phone cases by far. It is so smooth. Honestly, it is so nice. I mean, they're all silicon, so it's really, really soft, really smooth. It does make the phone really big and you do have to use it with both hands like this, but I don't really mind it. I don't know why, like it's not as awkward as using the Totoro one because this one, because it's rounded on the edges, it makes it a little bit difficult, but this one, because it's a rectangle, it's just really, really comfortable to use. So I do really love this one. Like I said, it does stick up very, very far over the top of the phone, but I'm willing to sacrifice how comfortable I am because of how cute this is. The last one from this particular listing is this one. This is the Boy's Tears water bottle. Oh, she... 
Again, this one was only $5 as well. This is so satisfying to hold. It doesn't add any width to the phone, but it does add height, which I don't mind because sometimes when it's sticking up in my back pocket, people are like, what is that? That is so cool because they can see this part of it and they think it's awesome. Now I have seen this boys tears design from a few places. I actually have a little coin purse that I got off Wish that has the same sort of design. It says on the bottom here, case dolls. I don't know if this is a copy of an actual brand. I'm not sure. This feels so legit, so legit as do all of the products from this particular seller on AliExpress. So I don't know what to think. If anyone knows anything about this, is this a copy of someone's design or is the seller slash wholesaler from AliExpress the original creator of this? Does anyone know? Anyway. Regardless, this and the peach phone case, these are epic. How epic are they? And like I said, they were all $5. This next one came to a total of $12, including shipping. It's available for the 6, 6S, 7, and 7 Plus, I believe. And this is one of my all-time favorite phone cases. You aren't prepared for the amazing, amazing phone case you're about to see because if you like mermaids and you're a holosexual, you're gonna love this. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a holosexual's dream because this mermaid phone case is full of glitter. It's got liquid on the inside so the glitter particles float around. It's real hollow, so it's probably approved by Christine. It's really sturdy, like this plastic is really, really, really thick and it's one of these phone cases that's supposed to be a protective shockproof phone case. So if you drop your phone, you're not gonna damage it. Again, this has the cover on the sides here for the buttons. It's got a cover for the lock button and a cover for the volume buttons. Just get a close up look at that. How nice is that? Look at all the little particles. Oh, it's so cute. I adore this so much. This is listed as $6 and then the shipping option that I went for was a couple of dollars more. And I think for the price that I paid, this is worth every single cent. This is one of my all time favorite phone cases. I think I've said that about all of them so far. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Stop chewing on my frills. Okay, this last phone case is covered in adorable little peaches. It's made of this matte plastic that's very, very smooth. It's not rubbery or silicon, but it is a matte plastic. The little peaches are so adorable. Now this one only came to about $5 and this is available for the iPhone 6, 6S, 7 and 7 Plus. And I have seen other listings on AliExpress where they had this available for other phones, but the listing that I purchased it from was only for iPhones. But this print is available on AliExpress and on Wish. I've also seen this phone case on Wish as well. I love this. This is an everyday phone case for me because it's very streamlined. It's a very, very thin phone case. Again, it's got the protective buttons as well on the sides. So that's the last one from AliExpress. I'll just quickly show you two phone cases from YesStyle and then we'll have a look at the Wish phone cases. So if you've seen my YesStyle haul, you'll remember this. This is one of my, oh my God, I can't say that again. This is, look, I'm just, what am I gonna, how, how do I say this? No, no, it really is. I mean, I said I wasn't gonna say it anymore, but it really is one of my all time favorite phone cases. This was only a couple of dollars. YesStyle gave me this for free. I'm so happy with it. I saw these in Harajuku, they were everywhere. This is available in multiple, multiple different sizes. I love this with all my heart. This next YesStyle phone case is another one that's made of a really, really nice, soft, rubbery feeling plastic. This one is beautiful. This was also given to me for free. It says Ichigo, that's Japanese for strawberry. It's also got this little tiny thing here on the bottom, which is for a lanyard. I don't wear it that much because I know that this kind of material can get dirty pretty easily. I have taken lots of pictures with it and posted them on Instagram and it always gets a lot of likes. If you're after that Insta clout, then maybe grab yourself one of these. Okay, now onto the Wish phone cases. The first one is from my Wish back to school haul. It's this adorable unicorn phone case. The unicorn is full of liquid and it's got little sparkles that move around. This is the phone case that I've had on for the past couple of weeks. It's got a little tiny thing on the bottom here that stops anything from getting up into the socket. It's very simple. It doesn't add much bulk to the phone. It's just an adorable design. This was listed as free and then I think the shipping was $3. This next phone case is a $9 phone case. It's meant to look like marble. This is again made of that kind of rubbery feeling matte plastic. I have worn this a lot and it's slightly discolored so it doesn't look exactly the way that it did when I first purchased it for only $9 and again it's got the protective area for the buttons as well. I have seen this exact phone case at those little, you know those little phone cases 
case kiosks that you see in Westfield. I have seen this exact phone case in places like that for $30. Literally the same one. Like I asked them to pull it out of the cabinet, took mine off my phone, put them side by side. It was the same phone case and it was $30. For $9, I think that's definitely worth it. This next one I bought ages ago. It's like a two-tone. It ships from green to pink. And this one has little gold sort of flecks running through it. Yes, green. Yes. Don't destroy it. This one covers the buttons, but it doesn't actually have the separate button function, if that makes sense. So the other ones, they actually have kind of like a little button made into the phone case. But these ones, it just completely covers the lock button, which can get really inconvenient. Like if you can't actually feel it there, you can be hunting around if you're not looking at your phone, you're kind of like hunting, trying to find the button. And sometimes if you press it, it doesn't always work. So this one does kind of annoy me a little bit. And also it doesn't fit snugly around the silent button. It's kind of cutting off the silent button a little bit. So this one is okay. I paid $6 for this one. If you type into Wish, marble phone case, so many different styles come up. And you know what, if you just look for the little blue verified tick, you can find really, really good ones. Now remember, the prices that I'm telling you are including shipping. So for example, this one is listed on Wish as $2. The shipping is $3. So this is a $5 phone case. This is really cute. It's purple and it's got little flecks of foil in it. Now this came in multiple different colors and it comes in different sizes as well. So this one's available for the X, the 8, the 7, the 6S and the 6. I'm just trying to get him to stop chewing on my sleeve, but nothing is, nothing is helping. Here look, chew on this instead. Look, memes, memes, memes. Let this distract you. This phone case is very sweet, multiple different colors. So I can see there's gold and there's silver, blue, pink, rose gold. And for only $5, can't go wrong. This next one, please don't judge me, guys, because this kind of exposes me as the terrible grub that I am. This one, this was pink once upon a time. Now it's just kind of brown. Out of all of the phone cases here today, this is the one that I've used the most, simply because I'm a bit like a bird in the sense that I love shiny things. I love anything that glitters and sparkles. And this was once a sparkly pink phone case. This has a little window here that shows the Apple logo. And again, it's got the little buttons carved into the side. This is very rubbery and it makes it really, really easy to grip onto the phone as you're holding it. Actually, look, it's shiny, shiny. This needs a good clean because it's filthy, you know, just from putting it in my pockets and holding it all the time. That is the only problem with this phone case. It does get dirty quite easily. Now this one was $8. You can get it for an iPhone 5, 5S, 5E, 6, 6S, 6 Plus, 6S Plus, 7 and 7 Plus. It's really unusual because it's got three layers to it. So it basically comes apart like this there's a sparkly layer, and then this plastic layer, and then the outer silicony plastic layer. It's really unusual. I don't really understand what the benefit is of doing that. I don't know if it's supposed to be shock absorbent or something. I'm not really sure what the point is of that. But hey, it's a cool added feature that none of the other phone cases have. The very last phone case of the day, I almost don't want to show you, but I am going to show you because I think there's a valuable lesson to be learned from this. When I bought this particular phone case, I didn't read the name of it. You know how on Wish the names are always ridiculous. Archie, bird, peekaboo, almond, extra large, kids, toy, happy, go lucky, bird, friendo. You know how it's always a really silly, silly long name. So I didn't read the name of this phone case. I saw it, I was like, that's so cute. And it was really, really cheap. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll just get it. It was listed as free. It had a blue verified tick. The shipping was $5. So it only came to $5 in total. And look at it, look how cute it is. But can you guess the problem here? Well, the problem here is, and I didn't even realize this until I sat down to film today, I have had this for ages and I've been using it, didn't even realize this is rabbit fur. Now, I don't wear fur and I don't buy fur, but I had no idea 
that fake fur could be so cheap. A little while ago, I bought a faux fur jacket off one of those cheap websites, maybe like Boohoo or something. And someone left a comment on my video and they were like, hi Alex, are you sure that the jacket's faux fur? And I replied and I said, oh, it was only $20. Like I'm sure it's faux fur. And they replied and they said, did you know that in China, it's actually cheaper to use real fur than it is to use faux fur sometimes? And I was like, surely that's not true, right? And then I did a little bit of Googling and Turns out that that is true. So sometimes when you're paying a very, very cheap price on Wish or AliExpress or any of these Chinese websites and you think you're buying faux fur because you're like, oh yeah, it's cheap, it's probably fake, it might actually be real. So this particular fur case, it is very, very soft and obviously it's soft because it's rabbit fur. And this makes me particularly sad because I had a pet rabbit for many years. He was a Rex rabbit. He was the softest bunny. Today is the first day I realized that this was real fur because I sat down to film this video and I went to get the prices of everything. That's when I saw the name and I actually properly read the name because at the time I was just scrolling through looking at pink phone cases. I just typed into wish pink phone cases and I was just like, yes, add to cart. Yes, add to cart. Oh, that one's free. Add to cart. Yeah. And then today I found out it's rabbit fur. So look, if you don't have a problem with using animal furs, then I will review this for you. It looks really big, but it's actually quite small. It's the same size as my phone. It's very, very streamlined. It's just that the fur is so plush. I've never been able to properly use it because of the camera situation. So the fur around the camera here just will not sit flat. I know, Archie, I know. Yeah, look, I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm gonna stop reviewing it now. I, yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't, like holding this now, all I can think of is Bunsun. Bunsun was the name of my rabbit. Sun is like what you put on the end of a name in Japanese and then Bun obviously for bunny. So his name was Bunsun. And holding this, I literally like, I feel ill at the thought. So I probably won't review that any further. I've said what I needed to say about that, but that's just a lesson to all of you that if you're like me and you think to yourself, oh yeah, that thing's only a couple of dollars. It's going to be fake. It's not going to be real fur. Apparently, coming out of China, it's cheaper to work with real fur than it is to produce fake fur, so just be mindful of that, guys. That's all of the phone cases for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I got a little bit dark at the end there, but that is a message that I just wanted to spread. I am an affiliate of YesStyle, so if you buy either of those two YesStyle phone cases, I'll make commission. I don't work with AliExpress or Wish or anything like that, so none of this is sponsored, and I paid for all of these with my own money, except the two YesStyle phone cases. They were given to me for free. YesStyle has a huge, huge selection of phone cases, by the way. So if you guys want me to do like a dedicated YesStyle phone case haul, I won't have to pay for them. I can just send off a list to YesStyle and say, oh, hey, can you send me these phone cases? Because we kind of have a little agreement that they'll give me the items that I want and I'll just make a video for them. And then I get to make commission. So they don't pay me like a lump sum to make a video, but if anyone buys anything, then I can make commission off that. So if you want to see like an exclusive YesStyle phone case haul, I could pick a whole bunch of phone cases from YesStyle. So if there's any that you may have seen that you want me to review, just leave a comment down below. Just put the hyperlink to the YesStyle phone case and then I can collect, you know, like 10 of those links and then I'll just email YesStyle and be like, hey, can you send me these phone cases? And then I can review those for you. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot of other AliExpress videos too and Wish videos as well. So don't forget to check out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. There is a, a green bird here and he is always in my videos. So if you like birds and you like bird noises, then definitely subscribe to our channel today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!